All right, you guys, the daily tool fix is here. Tools in action. Today we're going over some stuff from Bosch, compact, small drills. What do we know about Bosch? Their quality, they're from Germany. What else do you need to know? Not much, thanks guys. That's for it, sure, yeah. thanks for checking it out. Yeah. Now, what do we got, Eric? Uh, they got a new compact out, 18, part of their 18 volt. They've got a drill driver out, and then they got the hammer drill out. These are the two. So basically, you can get these in kits. They both come um, with two 4.0 amp hour batteries, come with the uh, felt clip, come with the charger, and come with a tool, like a nylon case. What? Okay. This is the, no, but this is the DDS183, but when I said DDS, I always think dentist. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah. this is the dentist the version. The dentist version. Can you imagine going to the dentist and the guy pulls that out? Dude, you know what? I'd rather than pull this no out. Way. Have you seen some of the tools they use? Yeah, they're I know. ancient, they're ancient, just like yeah. stainless steel. Look like you got it from Harbor Freight or something. <laughs> I'm serious. So, but these are the. The drill driver, um, you can see it's got the one collar on there, so you can do the torque settings, but then if you want to do the drill mode, you got to move it all the way over. Where the hammer drill has two collars, um, so you can switch between hammer drill and screw mode. Not much of a difference in terms of weight, and definitely not much of a difference in size. A lot of the size has to do with just that collar, it seems like. So, no. right. so one, is this, this going to replace the big ones, or no? No, they still got the brute one that's big, but one cool thing, two cool things. First of all, they got the brushless mowers, which a lot of companies are coming out with now. But this one has, what a, it's like a kickback control. You've seen it on their bigger oh, the rotary hammers. Yes. Now they've actually got it in the drills, which is cool. So that's, you ever been drilling and your hand binds up, or your arm binds up when you're doing like, a, you know, you know, using a bigger accessory? Yes. This will actually help prevent that. I haven't seen those in drills before, have you? Not compacts, no. 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 So. But it's, it's good stuff. I mean, it's definitely needed there, you guys. And I don't know if we showed you in the beginning or showing you now the B-roll, but uh, we were using these Daredevil spade bits, and it just flies right through. So one thing we learned about these Daredevils, though, is that uh, just let the tool do the work. Let the tool do the work. High speed, just let the tool do the work. Let the tool pull you through, and that's going to get you through. I mean, if you put it on low and push hard, you're just not going to get that efficient of a cut. So uh, we're definitely loving the Daredevil spade bits, which are cool. Yeah. And we also ran a little bit of concrete with it. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm not a big fan of these things. I mean, I gr grant it if you're doing, you know, if you have to do a little bit. That's really warm right there. Yeah, it's a little warm. Yeah. Well, we were using it. We were testing them. But, uh, you know, if I'm doing big concrete work, I'm just using a big SDS. Yeah, definitely. You know? Without a doubt. This stuff is for, like, you know, your doing like something and you just need to punch a couple of holes in the concrete you know put some anchors in whatnot that's when this tool is going to be perfect because it is a compact tool but it's going to give you you know if you're out on a job site lightweight small package and you're going to be able to pretty it much is. accomplish 96 percent of all your tasks yeah it's perfect i mean if you're not doing big holes like dan was saying with anchors and stuff like that there's a lot of guys who are just carpenters who don't need that rotary hammer you know, you don't need all that concrete stuff, but occasionally you get to it and you want to do a little bit, this can definitely do it, so. Yeah, I mean, you know, metal chucks, I'm liking that. Yes. So that's the same with the durability. And I also like that they didn't go with that silver chuck. I don't know why. I don't really? like, I don't like that's this. That's on the brute ones, right? Yeah, I don't like yeah. that silver chuck. It just looks weird. Really? Doesn't yeah. it? I don't know. Not that colors mean anything, No, but, but still, yeah, I mean, hey. this is a sleek looking tool I like, you know. Yeah, it's sleek. Hey man, as long as it's sleek, exactly. I'm buying it. Yep, exactly. Good stuff, you guys. Um, what kind of warranty? Three-year warranty, Three two-year return, or whatever that is. Three, two, what is it? No, one year. What? It's in Spanish, Eric. I can't read oh. it. Yeah, I thought it was a three-year tool. It's a three-year tool warranty. Can you believe that? Oh. Three-year tool. Unconditional, yeah. one-year guarantee, 30 days money-back guarantee, and one year service protection plan. And it's got three, it says three year for tool, two for the battery. Yes. If you're in the Bosch, this is the way to go, you guys. Check it out. If you're great just, additions to their 18 volt line. Their 18 volt line's got a lot of cool tools in there, so. Yep, if you're just, you know, new to the trades, you want to get a quality tool, and you're looking for a professional tool, definitely take a look at Bosch. Because like Eric said, they got a lot of good stuff in their lineup. And Bosch is one of those things where if you buy this drill, chances are in 10, 20 years, you're still going to have this drill. It's still going to be I know, we got a lot of guys who are still using the old NICAD stuff and it's still working. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. I know, isn't it funny when you go to a job site and they're using it? You just, it blows my mind. I'm like, my God, yeah. dude, you know, you could get so much better runtime, performance, just by going to. That's why that little DeWalt XR adapter yeah, is a big exactly. hit. Yeah, I think so too. But it is amazing when you look back at the old <laughs> NICAD to what they got in these compacts with the brushless motor, with the anti-kickback control and all that. So, And the size. I mean, it's a, I don't know, it's just it's a very thin 
tool. Yeah. Good stuff, you guys. Tools in action. Check it out. Hashtag TIA crew. Everywhere you go because you win stuff on Toolathon. Don't forget to go over to the Power Tool Forum, toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to look at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, which is where we show Periscope live. Uh, we Like going through car washes and all. Yeah, just stupid stuff. Just day in life. But we do warn you, Periscope is unrated. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is swear words sometimes, and we apologize for that. And if you want to support the Tools in Action, go buy TIA gear at TIAgear.com. Hats, stickers, and shirts. Yep, we're going to be getting a whole bunch of new stuff in there, so some yes. cool things. Yes, there might be there now. Tools in Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.